Antonio, I want to get you in here before I go to Ahmed because I want an investor's perspective from Ahmed. That's why I'm coming to you in the end. Uh, you run resorts across the globe. Of course, there's a recovery phase now. Are you finding now that when it comes to raising capital or attracting investors, the rules have changed, the dynamics have changed, or it's the same? Well, we're, we're actually very proud and very happy that um, last month in, in Madrid, um, we had a signature of a $200 million loan to Bahia Principe Hotels and Resorts. Um, to that signature were the President of the Dominican Republic, um, the Tourism Minister of Dominican Republic, and also the Tourism Minister of, of Jamaica. Um, I think that shows the trust that the market has in Bahia Principe and our product. You know, if you think about it, um, Bahia Principe is a company with 27 hotels, most of them in the Caribbean. We are leisure, uh, we are all-inclusive, uh, generally beach locations, vacational. So when everyone is thinking of, oh my God, I want to go on vacation, what's the first thing that you think, right? It's these kind of hassle-free vacations on the beach, these great locations. So, you know, on our side, at least for Bahia Principe, uh, we didn't have a problem raising that money. I think that shows the trust, as I said, of the market in our product and in the company. We have a very strong backbone. We are owners of the hotels that we run. So on our side, I must admit that it was a, it was a very positive movement, and I see it very positively. Right? Uh, I'll come to you, Antonio, first. I mean, the point that uh, even Antonio made, uh, sorry, uh, which uh, Adam was making about the big brands surviving, the quality of the product surviving, is that going to be the key to raise money? Or you think now there are enough investors who are willing to look into new ideas? They are not necessarily looking at the traditional way of doing business. Um, we do think so. Uh, Bahia Principe, as I said, we're 27 hotels. We're not the largest company in the world. We don't pretend to be the largest company in the world. We are a family-owned Spanish business. We have very strong values. We're looking to expand through an asset light model in which people will appreciate, of course, we will have ROI, we have great ROIs, but basically what we want also is to establish a long-term relationship. Uh, we have these kind of, of, of values. We're in it to make something that will, a legacy, something that will last for a long time. Um, so I think there is space, and I think there are investors that are looking for large companies. Fantastic. But they're also looking for companies where if they pick up the phone, they want to talk to the CEO, they want to talk to the group CEO, they just pick up the phone and we're there. So there is, there is that demand, I think, especially um, in these kind of markets, uh, Dubai, the United Arab, Arab Emirates, um, Arabia, Asian countries, the values are a little bit different and that's what we're looking at. So I think there is that, um, that possibility. Antonio, coming to you, one uh, maybe opportunity and one challenge, especially when it comes to growth investment? Um, challenge probably human capital. Um, we know the great, great resignation. So we take advantage actually and we're trying to do a lot more uh, training, whether it's languages, professional training, cross-cultural abilities training. Part of those 200 million from the, the BID Invest and the Banco Popular Dominicano will go into, into that. And opportunities to grow. We're, we're very positive about the future. So we see it, um, as I say, very positively.